Hello, it's Emma Mills here and welcome to episode 134 of this week's My TV, which is all about how to arrange your diary and appointments like a successful business owner would and should. And if you already have a PA or a VA, thumbs up to that, but you can pop in this video. It might help them in how to schedule and get the very most out of your time in the diary. Now, I think most business owners are way too lax with their diary. And by this, I mean they schedule absolutely too much stuff in and totally overestimate what is achievable, what actually is productive. So, you know, if you have loads of meetings and then do nothing after them or don't even have any time to do anything in the business, that is, that is a non-starter. So I get really surprised about the volume of stuff that gets canceled in, the length of time that appointments get booked in for, and also who is in charge of the appointment. So my top four tips for you on managing your diary like an absolute dynamo is, number one, don't use the norm, norm amounts of time for appointments. So for me, that means that most people will put in a meeting for an hour. I don't really understand where this comes from in that an hour is actually a quite a long time. Now, I will just say, I don't necessarily apply this to customers. If a customer needs more of my time, if they're a good customer, if they're a paying customer, you know, if they're giving feedback, if they need help, if I'm not applying this to customers to be quite as drastic. However, most people will book stuff in their appointments for an hour. I don't get that. Like an hour is a very, very long time. And for a lot of appointments that go into people's diaries, why people don't think about a 45 minute appointment, maximizing time in the day or a 40 minute appointment or a 30 minute appointment as a norm is mind blowing for me. So with my diary, if I am booking in a phone call or a Zoom, I will, my VA, my PA in my office, Bex, will normally give approximately 20 minutes for that. And then if it's a face-to-face -face meeting, so I'm going to see someone or they're coming to see me, normally that'll go in the diary for 40 to 45 minutes. Now, if somebody asks for additional time, that is a different thing. If somebody says, oh, actually, doesn't she have till maybe half past or, you know, a, a time that, and then they can say, actually, because I need to explain X, Y, and Z, or it'd be great to do this, that's fine. But for me, so much time gets wasted in yeah, just kind of because it's normally, it's the norm to put in a call for half an hour or a meeting for an hour. I say we scrap that and we actually get much more efficient about what needs to get done in the time. So my top tip, number one, is to not book appointments in just in half an hour, an hour slots. Try 20 minutes and try 40 minutes for something face to face. Number two, <coughs> if you're having a phone call, and it goes in your diary, always make sure that you are in charge of the appointment. Make sure that you are the person phoning out and phoning that person. Number one, you can do it on the dot and get it done. If they don't answer, then you can reschedule the appointment. If you're waiting for somebody to call you, it isn't really taking ownership of your time, so I would always advise calling the person. Number three, start appointments earlier in the day. Again, I feel like a lot of appointments get booked for like half nine onwards. Don't be afraid of asking for an earlier appointment if it suits you in the day to get more out of the day. I feel like a lot of diary management is done between half nine and three. And actually there are loads of hours in the day and it might not suit you. So don't be afraid to actually use your diary how it suits you best. And number four, have empty days. So I've said this so many times in my TV before, but Warren Buffett's number one tip is that he has the least amount in his calendar as is possible. So you literally have, say, one meeting a month, two meetings a month. Now, I'm not just talking about now, when obviously Warren Buffett is a billionaire. I'm talking about this has been his mantra throughout his business career. He has always left plenty of time in his diary to read, to study, to learn about his industry, to, you know, to basically to further his business. I think nowadays, especially with the kind of hustle and grind culture, so many business owners are focused on absolutely maximizing from, you know, seven in the morning till nine at night, like fitting in as much as possible. Be careful what you are fitting in. If you are going from one thing to another, call to another, meeting to another, without actual time to work on the stuff that will grow your business, that will elevate you as a business owner, that will develop you to lead and grow your business to where it needs to be. You are going to, one, either burn out, or two, just run out of time to actually 
to actually grow a really amazing business. So my fourth tip, and for me one of the most important, is do not overfill your diary. I make sure that I have at least one or two days a week where I am not bound to make phone calls or to meet with people, but I can focus on the really good stuff and chunk stuff that needs chunky time for me to get it done. So those are my four top tips for managing your diary like a really successful business owner would. And ultimately, what goes above them all is taking ownership of it and not being afraid to say, actually, no, my time is really, really valuable. This is an appropriate amount of time or I will call you at a certain time. Just, just if you get into your mind, focusing on the 10,000 pound tasks, you know, the really high value tasks, you will definitely look at the time you give away so much more easily. I hope this tip about your diary helps you to get your head out of the dirt and into those clouds. And I will see you next week for episode 135. See you then. Bye.